Joy and her son have ages adding up to 75. His age is half her age. Find both ages. All right, so it says Joy and her son have ages adding up to 75. His age is half her age. We're going to find both ages. H's. All right, so let's see what happens on this one. Let's see how this one works. First of all, let's play with this a little bit. There are two clues going on here, important clues. And if you just go with one of them, you've got a lot of options. In other words, if I just said Joy and her son have ages adding up to 75, my goodness, we could have 40 and 30. We could have 37 and what? 38. It could be very close, but I don't think it would make much sense because that's Joy and her son. That wouldn't be one year apart. That'd be a little weird. All right, but there are lots of options. What I'm making my point is there's lots of options by having numbers that add up to 75. Now, the second option narrows things down. It says his age is half her age, all right? So I'm thinking like 20 and 40, all right? His age will be 20, hers will be 40, but you know, those don't add up to 75 either. So you see, we've got two things that have to work together. They've got to work together. So let's play with this thing a little bit. Let's actually do a little algebra to solve this. This is not a hard problem, not a hard problem. But we're going to let X represent Joy's son, all right? The son's age, if you will. And according to that, he said, well, wait a minute, Ernie, it says his age is half her age. Well, I'm going to let him be the first age. And then we're going to show you another way we could do it, all right? Uh, more than one option on this. Because what happens if her son's age is half her age, then her age, this would be Joy, should be twice his. So I'm going to use 2x, which I think most of us like to see that better than fractions, all right? Although we can do it with a fraction. We can do it with a half. But we'll be switching options here. But let's go ahead and let this be Joy's age. And that tells me a lot right there. We know that these two add up to 75. So here's our defining of the variables, and that's very important. So like I said, we played with it a little bit, we thought it through. I hope a lot of you have already come up with the answer, maybe even just playing through with it. Oh yeah, there's only one way this will work. Exactly, that's what we're looking for. What's the exact way that both of these can be together? So we said we're gonna take x, and we're gonna add 2x, and we're gonna get 75. That's gonna be our option right there. That's gonna be our option right there. Now, putting it together, one plus two, how many times do you get to do that very often? Not much, but we're gonna do it today. How about it? Three X, there we go. And bring that X along for a ride. Do not square it, do not change it. It's just three X. And we're gonna to equal to 75, and we're gonna do a little division on this because that's gonna allow us to get X equal to 25. Now, whose age is that? Son's age, right there. So we've got 25. What are we going to do to figure out Joy's age? We're going to say two times that 25. Two times that 25. And that's going to give us 50. Now your question as well as mine is, okay, we've got the double part. Do they add up to 75? Easy mental check here. Yes, they do. So there's the story, setting it into motion. Now, I did say there's another option. Some of you may have let X be Joy's age, all right? I know some of you work these things out at home. So if you let X equal Joy's age, and you let one half X equal the son's age, the story is still the same. We would add these together and let that equal to 75. You say, well, well Ernie, is that going to give us the same value? I mean, you've got a different X here, right? And we could go ahead and say it's one and a half, or as you all love decimals, how about it? 1 and 5 tenths times x, or 1.5x. And this time, if we divide by the 1 and 5 tenths into, dividing into 75, we're going to get x equals 50. But remember, that's good, because that's Joy's age. Half of that would be the son's age. They still add up to 75. So either way, good way to work out this problem. I like problems of the day that we can set up two different ways and such like that. So there you go. Uh, which one do you like? I personally like to avoid the fractions, but you know, since this one wasn't so bad, hey, one and a half isn't that hard to deal with either. Would have worked out. And of course, hit a calculator. If you struggle with those, it comes out nice and easy. So 2550, there you go. For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.